Hello everyone, this is Kerry Anderson. Hope you all doing well. In today's video, I'll be talking about what to know about diabetes shock. So if you like the video related to my health, my way, I would like to request you all. Please do subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon and give thumbs up so that I will come up with more and more videos with lots and lots of information. So here we begin this go. What to know about diabetic shock? Diabetic shock occurs when blood sugar levels drop dangerously low. Diabetic shock is not a medical term, but people often use it to describe a state of severe hypoglycemia that requires another person help. People with mild low blood sugar, which doctors call insulin reaction or hypoglycemia are usually conscious and can treat themselves. People experiencing hypoglycemia often experience headache, dizziness, sweating, shaking, and a feeling of anxiety. When a person experiences diabetic shock or severe hypoglycemia, they may lose consciousness, have trouble speaking, and experience double vision. Early treatment is essential because blood sugar level that stay low for too long can lead to seizure or diabetic coma. Hypoglycemia can sometimes happen rapidly and may even occur when a person follows their diabetes treatment plan. So now I'll be talking about the symptoms. A person's blood sugar level naturally rise and fall throughout the day. Typically, they rise shortly after a meal and dip after physical activity or fasting. Most people do not feel any negative effects from these changes, but they can cause problems for people with diabetes. Early signs of uh, low blood sugar level include a headache, nervousness, anxiety, dizziness, sweating, shakiness, irritability, moodiness, hunger. So, symptoms of hypoglycemia often get worse and can even be fatal if left untreated. Symptoms of diabetic shock or severe hypoglycemia can include blurry or double vision, seizure, convulsions, drowsiness, losing uh, consciousness, slurred speech, trouble speaking, confusion, jerky movements, clumsiness. Now, hypoglycemia can also disrupt a person, sleep due to nightmares, tiredness of confusion when walking, excessive sweating during sleep. If a person suspects they have hypoglycemia, they should get treatment as soon as possible. Hypoglycemia affects a person's movement and ability to think clearly, which can cause serious accident, especially if it happens while uh, someone is driving or working. Some people may not experience the typical symptoms of hypoglycemia. Doctors call this hypoglycemia an awareness and it's more common when a person has had diabetes for a long time or the person has experienced frequent episodes of hypoglycemia. Lack of the initial warning signs such as shaking and sweating may cause the episode to progress fast to seizure and loss of consciousness if a person hypoglycemia awareness is impaired. It is imperative that they monitor their blood sugar levels very closely. Now, I'll be talking about the causes. Taking insulin is the most common cause of hypoglycemia and its most severe form diabetic shock. However, some oral diabetes medication, especially those in the sulfonylurea class of drugs which act by stimulating the pancreas to produce more insulin, can also lead to low blood sugar. Examples of such drugs include amaryl, glyberate, and glyps. Glipizide. Other factors for hypoglycemia include taking too much insulin at the time of a meal or a snack, skipping or delaying a meal, alcohol consumption, not eating enough, not taking the proper dose of diabetes medication, increasing activity level without adjusting food or medication intake, development of other medical problems such as kidney disease and adrenal problems, longer duration of diabetes older age that's all about the diabetes in this video i hope you all liked it i'll definitely come with the next uh, video with my other content uh, till then god bless you stay home stay safe take care bye, -bye.